People with a fast metabolism seem able to eat just about anything without putting on weight. And yet there are those people, of course, who put on weight as soon as they even look at food. Now, the dangers of being obese are well documented, as are the dangers of being too thin. But there must be some circumstances where there are advantages to being either fat or thin. A fat guy has a 64-inch waist and weighs over 20 stone. A thin guy has a 21-inch waist and weighs just six and a half. Today's life-threatening situation is this. You're travelling by ship and the ship has gone down. You've bailed out and are waiting to be rescued. Who will stay afloat the longest? To simulate our shipwreck, we've given our two subjects inflatable lifeboats. When the klaxon sounds, the boats will deflate. And now for the test. To simulate the fact that they've been stranded at sea for days on end and no longer have any energy and barely the will to live, neither subject will be allowed to use their arms or legs to stay afloat. The subject that stays afloat the longest will be deemed the survivor. Our fat guy has absolutely no trouble in floating, and although it looks like our thin guy wouldn't even break the surface of the water, he has to use his legs to stay afloat. While he struggles, our fat guy has practically fallen asleep. Which means this time on Fat V Thin, it's better to be bloated yes! than bony. Next time, is it better to be fat or thin if you're stuck in a blizzard?